Hi, I'm Billy Stull with Legendary Audio, and I'm here today to show you how to use ICE. ICE is the new plugin uh, that's been developed by Sonic Studio and my company, Legendary Audio, that will do all kinds of things to make your life and your audio better. Um, one of the main features of ICE is removing distortion, reducing or removing distortion. And I'm, I have a song up here, and I'm going to go through the procedure on how to actually do that so that you'll understand how to use ICE. ICE is an acronym for In Case of Emergency. And as you know, you have uh, audio emergencies all the time. And instead of going to the emergency room, you can just buy some ICE, and you'll be able to uh, fix your projects that have problems. Uh, so the first thing you do is you open ICE, open the plug-in, and you'll notice all the features here. Uh, the main thing to notice is your target frequency control right here, which is this one, this one right here. Uh, this will enable you to move it to the general area that you're trying to target to create a frequency band to attack the problem that you have with your audio. And you can move the target area with this control, uh, or you can move it with this, this control up here. Uh, and you can also expand the frequency band higher or lower. And if you notice, the high right here represents the frequency in hertz. It's also up here. So uh, you're increasing to 1,042 hertz. And the low range is now 350. If you want to change that, you can do it this way, or you can grab it and do it this way, too. Uh, e either way, you want to to move that, but it indicates in the window here your low parameter and your high parameter of the frequency band that you're using. So why do you need a frequency band? Well, there are problems within the audio that you want to attack specifically. And to do that, you create a frequency band and then you do things and process within that frequency band to correct the problems that you have with the audio. Another control is gentle or steep. Gentle has a more gradual curve to the frequency band, uh, and it covers more area and it's more powerful, it's more broadband. Steep is a more surgical, very precise edges on your frequency band that you're creating. Here you have boost, which actually lets you boost this frequency band, as you see, it gets into the red and starts getting more powerful, or any frequency band that you that you uh, desire. And then you have monitor, which actually only lets you hear the frequency band that you have selected. It, it clears out all the other frequencies. You don't hear any other frequency except this band right here. Uh, the way that helps you is uh, if you hear a target frequency problem, you can put it on monitor, and if that problem is within the frequency band that you're hearing, then you're closer right onto it. Then you can adjust it to cover the problem that you're uh, attacking. Uh, you don't want to affect any more frequencies than necessary to correct the problem, so you can move these until you hear them in monitor that will precisely uh, attack the problem that you're that you are targeting. Okay, bypass bypasses the plug-in and lets you A B what you've done. This is of course without ice, and this is iced. So you can instantly compare uh, what you've done. Now here you have windows to uh, once you get a setting, and these these windows will show you uh, a particular uh, setting that you have saved and you have four windows there it, with the green light is the one that you selected and you can go like this. It'll go to different settings. Okay, so now how do you use it? All right, I picked a song today that uh, is uh, has a lot of distortion in it. Uh, it's a cool song, but it was recorded on an eight track Tascam cassette from the 90s, uh, SM58 microphone, just a home recording. Uh, cool song, but it has a lot of distortion. In the past, there wouldn't be much you could do about it. But now with ICE, we can attack and reduce that distortion and clean this particular song up. First thing you do is you listen to the song. You bypass ICE right here. 
and listen to the song uh, and analyze the song. Let's, let's hear it as it is. When I stray like a fallen disciple And I fall like a stray in the winter The cure for what ails me so let go what fails me. So you can hear the distortion, especially in the voice. The guitar might be a little fuzzier than, than uh, would be tasteful as well. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put it on monitor, and we're going to listen. Be sure that, you know the plug-in is on. Don't bypass it. But put it on monitor and listen to the frequency band. Now, I think that that first target frequency band is going to be down here in the low range somewhere. So... Uh, but I'm going to move it around so you can hear how that works. And I stray like a fallen disciple And I fall like a stray in the winter The cure for what ails me Is to let go what fails So we're just hearing the frequency band that's indicated by what we have right here. Now, inject is the amount of counter frequency that we're going to use to attack. This is the antidote for the distortion. Uh, it doesn't do anything while you have on monitor. So uh, if the problem is severe, you're gonna use quite a bit of inject. If it's just a slight problem, you can use a small amount. But uh, this is a pretty good problem. So we we'll use a medium amount of antidote, we'll say, and we're gonna erase some of that distortion. I had previously got a setting on this. I want to go, the song is called Shades of Gray. And so I put gray one. This is the area that I thought uh, was going to help that low mid distortion that's going on with this song. So now listen on bypass and then I'll kick in uh, the ice with this particular setting. <laughs> I stray like a fallen disciple And I fall like a stray in the winter The cure for what ails me So you can tell if you have good speakers that that reduced that distortion in that particular area. One more time. Watch the bypass button and you'll be able to tell when I uh, kick in the ice. I stray like a fallen disciple And I fall like a stray in the winter So now we've cleaned that up and uh, that's that one particular area. Now, I also hear some distortion in a higher area. You go through the same process um, and you find, you listen and you find other areas of distortion within the program material. I'm going to play the another area, and I've already set this as a gray two. I went and programmed this. I have it set just to save us some time. Um, so this is on bypass, it's doing nothing. We're going through this second instance, and then we're putting it on monitor. We're just hearing this frequency band right here, which is 428 to 908. And I stray like a fallen disciple. And I fall like a stray in the winter The cure for what ails me So now I'm going to engage both instances of ice. We're going to attack this little band of distortion and this little band of distortion. Listen to the difference. Bypass. And I stray like a fallen disciple Now we're going to play that iced version. And I stray like a fallen disciple And I fall like a stray in the winter The cure for what ails me Is to let go what fails me Those prophets and their prophets so we've done some good there. We've made it uh, more pleasant. We've cleaned it up. Now I'm going to open another instance of ice. Uh, there's some sibilance. In other words, the S's are hot. And uh, so I've picked a very small band here. 
um, to attack the sibilants. This is from 8163 to 1064, and we have a minus 42 amount of inject. Uh, by the way, this, this inject goes to 144, so it's very, very precision. And you can save these settings, so you have them for later if you want to bring them up. This is a, a sibilant setting, which you'll notice the S is on the vocal. I'm going to bring up another instance of ice that I've set up, and this one we're going to use boost. Now, boost will add that frequency to the song. I noticed that uh, between 40 and 66 is, is this particular low, low frequency band. It's sub-frequencies and it was deficient in the song. So I have selected it and we're going to add it uh, to the song to increase the deficiency in that frequency band. So it'll add that bottom end that we're missing. And uh, uh, now I'm gonna let you hear all of it. This is with attacking low mid distortion, attacking mid distortion, attacking sibilance, and adding some low frequency sub frequencies to the mix. And I stray like a fallen disciple, and I fall like a stray in the winter. The cure for what ails me is to let go what fails me. Now I'm going to go later in the song where the bass comes in. You'll be able to tell a little bit more about that sub-frequency and the drums and the sibilants, all the distortion we've cleaned up. Here's a later portion of the song. Once were many, now a few. Except for clouds I can't see through. Waste our lives talking. But there's nothing left to say. Searching for that silver lining. So now you can see it's much more pleasant. It's not uh, overmodulated, and there's a lot of subtle things on this. Uh, I'm going to actually play it again, the same section. I'm going to bypass these four different instances of ice so that you can hear uh, the subtle differences that it makes. But the total of the difference is is dramatic. Once were many, now a few. Except for clouds I can't see through Waste our lives talking But there's nothing left to say And I'm still here Searching for that silver lining But all I'm ever find So that's, a, that's an example of how you use ice in this particular song and this particular problem. Hopefully this tutorial kind of give you a general idea of how to use the ice, you know, for your particular projects.